So right now, no impact to U.S. landfall, but I'll keep my eyes on it. I'll also keep my eyes on how to plan for the day ahead. Here's a live look outside from our Dallas newsroom camera at 62 degrees. Our winds are the east at five. So through the day ahead, expect to see more cloud cover and some spotty showers popping up as you take a look at the first alert satellite and radar combined uh, down through parts of Ellis County, Navarro County, a couple of showers holding together. Wanted to widen out the view again to show you that we have this upper level low that's continuing over the four corners area, kind of digging its way down, then will lift its way through the panhandle going through the remainder of the day today and into tomorrow. As that approaches at the surface, we have a frontal boundary developing and with it some widespread rain and some isolated storms in the forecast. So first alert weather day uh, for Friday because of this rain that's on the way. Let's walk you through right now. 520 on the first alert radar and first alert future cast. So you can see as we go through the morning hours, maybe a couple of isolated showers popping up, maybe a little bit more heavier rain. I can't rule out the chance of maybe a couple of isolated storms Going into the afternoon hours, mainly west of 35, uh, really no threat today. We can see maybe a couple of uh, areas of some small herald popping up. But you notice by the time we go to late tonight, a lot of cloud cover around for us. Our winds at the surface east southeast, but then we see the rain really increasing in aerial coverage going into tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours. You see west of 35, the potential of some pockets of some heavy rain, maybe some stronger storms developing into the afternoon hours with the frontal boundary moving its way from West east and also the upper level dynamics also pulling northeast a better chance of some storms popping up. We might see a couple of those reaching severe limits going then into the evening hours. The uh, front continue to push its way to the east by the time we get towards midnight. A lot of the rain shifting to east Texas and our clouds continuing to clear out. We could pick up a large amount of rain over a short amount of time in some spots. One to three inches of rain to half of an inch to near an inch over the next seven days. But this morning, not a lot of rain out there. We're at 61 at DFW with a northeast Easterly wind at seven across the Metroplex. We're at 57 in Denton to 60 in Grand Prairie to 60 in Terrell. Uh, so, you know, it's sweatshirt morning this afternoon, low 70s. But look at this. We are 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning. So it's kind of back and forth and back and forth. It's interesting. We're warmer because of more moisture being pulled up ahead of that system on the way. So first alert weather day on Friday, but the weekend looking fantastic. Low 70s for us. The morning temperatures in the 50s on Veterans Day, 76 degrees and mostly sunny skies.